Hello, I'm Tim Jones and welcome to another edition of View from the Bleachers. You know, ever since my wife and I moved from Seattle to a semi-rural artist community island, I've worked from home by myself. In addition to my writing, I also work part-time as an independent consultant. It can be a bit lonely working from home all alone all the time. And with COVID, I rarely see anybody other than my wife these days. That's why recently, in order to feel a little less isolated, I instituted my own company video newsletter. I call it Tim's Home Office News. I thought you might like to catch the latest installment. I'll present that latest installment on the other side. Welcome to Tim's Home Office News, our monthly video bulletin aimed at keeping everyone here working at Tim's Home Office up to date on the latest happenings around the company. I'm your communications manager, Tim Jones. Well, there's a lot to report, so let's get started. First of all, a tip of the hat to Tim Jones for winning our Employee of the Month award for the 47th straight month. Way to go, big guy. Thanks to your outstanding performance, you will once again earn your very own parking space in the corporate garage. Uh, we would mail you your engraved plaque to proudly display on your cubicle wall for all to see, but um, according to our records, you already have that plaque. Also, congratulations are in order for our facility operations manager, Tim Jones, on completing the renovations of the employee lounge, also known as Tim's Man Cave. And he did it at a cost of only 260% over budget. We think that all the work here will agree that an 80-inch high-def flat-screen TV and the PlayStation 4 video game console were long overdue enhancements, which will no doubt pay for themselves in increased productivity and improved employee morale. In other Tim's home office news, you've probably noticed the state-of-the-art smoothie maker in our staff kitchen. Well, a big shout-out of appreciation goes to our office administrator, Tim Jones. And before I forget, a big shout out to our young company intern and recent college graduate, Timmy Jones, for doing a great job making photocopies and also for all those delicious smoothie recipes. Except for the one with kale. Not a big hit with the staff, buddy. Well, as happens from time to time, the corporation decided to implement a much needed staff reorganization to improve efficiencies and, quite frankly, reduce waste. So it comes as no surprise that our very own Tim Jones has been appointed Senior Vice President of Operations effective immediately. Now he will continue to oversee his previous responsibilities in the areas of facilities management, marketing, finance, and human resources until further notice. And we wish Tim the best of luck in his new role. In other news, we regret to report that the company retreat that was originally scheduled for this fall in Cabo San Lucas has been postponed indefinitely. In related news, which may come as a relief to some, despite missing revenue projections for the third straight quarter, the senior leadership of Tim's home office has decided not to lay off a single employee. In an internal memo to the staff chairman and CEO, Tim Jones wrote, I care about every employee, and before I would fire any of them, I would fire myself. Brave words, Tim. This past weekend was the always fun annual employee golf outing. Unfortunately, attendance was light again this year, perhaps due to the unusually cold temperatures, or perhaps it was COVID. And in the end, only our sales manager, Tim Jones, was able to attend the event. And Tim is excited to report that he won the closest to the pin competition on three of the four par threes. Next time, how about a hole in one there, eh, Tim? You know, in these stressful times, we know that morale is everything. So the executive steering committee led by Tim Jones is installing a state-of-the-art hot tub, the enjoyment of which will be limited to employees and guests of Tim's home office. So please refer to your employee handbook for details about its use and about our clothing optional policy. Before long, it'll be time to celebrate Tim's home office annual company Christmas party to be held as is the tradition right here at our headquarters. Newly announced Senior Vice President of Operations, Tim Jones will be looking for volunteers to spearhead the planning, including food, decorations, and musical entertainment. Employees interested in joining the steering committee are encouraged to look for the sign-up sheet in the employee lounge. There is no word yet on the timetable for publishing the company's annual report, or for that matter, 
hiring a board of directors, or replacing the entire senior leadership team. But according to our director of communications, Tim Jones, seen right before he went in for a sex change operation, the annual report, when completed, will provide a rich and full disclosure of the company's finances and bright projections for a successful fiscal year ahead. Just as soon as our chief financial officer, Tim Jones, can locate someone who knows how to use a calculator and a spreadsheet. Well, that's it for this month's edition of Tim's Home Office News. And remember, next Friday is the deadline to submit your nomination for next month's Employee of the Month. I'm talking to you, Tim. Hey, that's the view from the bleachers. Perhaps I'm off base. I'm Tim Jones. Remember, if you like this video or are starting to worry just a little bit about me, please click on the subscribe button below and share this video with your friends or anybody you'd like to annoy. And for more of my humor, feel free to visit my website, viewfromthebleachers.net. Bye for now.